Hello folks, I am Georgios Papadopoulos and welcome to this video on Exponential Back of Algorithm. In this video, first an overview on binary exponential back of algorithm will be given and then an example when employed in pure Aloha MAC protocol for collision resolution use case. An exponential back of algorithm is a collision resolution mechanism that can be employed to reduce the collision probability of two or more frame transmissions in a network. Towards this aim, the exponential back of algorithm sets the range of what is called back of time values that are possible. The back of time is the waiting time of a transmitter after its original frame transmission and before the retransmission of the same frame. The exponential back of algorithm randomizes this waiting back of time between the frame retransmissions. Thus, the back of time is a random value that depends on the number of collisions experienced and on a slot time, where the slot time can be expressed, for example, as the maximum propagation time or frame transmission time and it is implementation dependent. Back of time can be modeled as an exponential function as it can be seen here, where TB is the back of time, B is the multiplicative factor or base, and C is the number of retry attempts observed. Finally, the value of C is incremented each time a retry attempt is observed, leading thus to an exponential rise in delay. An exponential back of algorithm where the multiplicative factor or base b is equal to 2 is referred as a binary exponential back of algorithm. In binary exponential back of algorithm, the transmitting node for each retransmission will select a random number r between 0 and 2 power of c minus 1 and will multiply it with t slot, which in turn is computed, for example, based on maximum propagation time or frame transmission time. Note that the range of the random values increases after each unsuccessful transmission attempt till c is larger than predefined c max. I will proceed now with an example of a binary exponential back of algorithm when employed in a wireless network that is based on pure aloha. Let us assume two nodes a and b in a wireless network that run pure aloha where the transmission time is continuous, are at maximum of 1200 km apart, and the signals propagate at the speed of light in air. Now, based on the scenario, let's compute the waiting back of time TB values for retransmission attempts C equal to 1, 2, and 3. Well, to obtain the waiting back of time for each transmitter, first we need to calculate the propagation time for this scenario. A parenthesis here to remind you that the amount of time that it takes for the head of the signal to propagate from one end of the shared medium to the other is called the propagation time or TP. The propagation time can be obtained from the distance between two nodes and the propagation speed, as it can be seen here. If we apply the values of these parameters, we obtain 4 milliseconds for the propagation time. In the second step, we select the random number r between 0 and 2 power of c minus 1. Thus, for the first retransmission attempt, where c is equal to 1, the possible values for r are either 0 or 1. Now that we have calculated the propagation time and defined the range of the random number r, we can compute the waiting back of time tb for different values of c. Based on the outcome of the random variable r after the first collision, each transmitter will wait for either 0 or 4 milliseconds. If the first retransmission was not successful, the two transmitters will have to retry again, and in this case the C variable will increase by 1 and will be equal to 2 and thus the new range is now from 0 to 3. 
as a result, based on the outcome of the random value R, after the second collision, each transmitter will wait for either 0, 4, 8 or 12 milliseconds. Finally, if the second retransmission was not successful either, then the two transmitters will have to retry for the third time. The C variable will be equal to 3, and thus the new range will be from 0 to 7. Consequently, based on the outcome of the random variable R, after the third collision, each transmitter will wait for either 0, 4, 8, and so on, till 28 milliseconds. Last but not least, note that when C becomes larger than C max, where C max is configurable parameter, then the frame is dropped. And that's all folks on binary exponential backoff algorithms.